So now we are going to look in the PV diagram of phase, phase change of a pure substance. Here in this piston cylinder arrangement, we are having water in it, and what we do is we will be heating this one. So upon heating, in a general way, what happens is this water will absorb some heat, and after that it will be changing to vapor. So if we are plotting the PV diagram. What we see is suppose say that it is condition 1. So at condition 1, let the water be at temperature 20 degrees Celsius. So if we heat, it will change from 1 to 2. So 1 to 2, what happens is during 1 to 2, the temperature and the pressure of water will increase. And since temperature increases, obviously volume will also increase. So during 1 to 2, both pressure and volume increases. But the thing to be not Thing that is to be noticed uh, the water remains in liquid state so there is no phase transition so after 2 so at 2 the temperature will be 100 degrees Celsius if the pressure here is on atmosphere so now the temperature of water is after heating the temperature has become 100 degrees Celsius so even if we supply heat after that the pressure will not change, the pressure will remain as on atmosphere. But in the previous case, from 1 to 2, there was a change, increase in pressure. But after retaining 100 degrees Celsius, the pressure will remain on atmosphere. And what happens is, there will be a phase transition. That is, the water will change into vapor. And at a particular state, uh, suppose say here, uh, the pressure will be constant, the same pressure on atmosphere. The temperature will also be constant the same temperature 100 degrees Celsius but some of the water will be changing into vapor so there will be a water vapor interface uh, interface will be formed then after prolonged heating the entire water absorbs a heat and it absorbs a heat that Q is equal to heat of vaporization so it absorbs a heat heat of vaporization and the entire water changes to vapor. So here the thing is to be noted is at one atmosphere the temperature remains 100 degrees Celsius. Suppose say if you are if the state was something 1 dash then on heating what happens is it will reach a point 2 dash after 2 dash there will be vaporization then at this particular point vaporization will come to end that is the entire water will be changing into vapor then after that the vapor will be heated. So if we keep on drawing graph, we will get something like this and at last if we join these points, these points correspond to the point at which the vaporization starts. So this is liquid saturation point. After this particular point, there will not be there will not be existence of liquid only, there will both liquid and vapor will exist. So if we are joining these points, the peculiarity of this point is after this point, there will be only vapor. So this is vapor saturation line. And these two lines meet at a point that is called, we call as critical point. So look, if we are heating the liquid, after this particular point, there will be liquid and vapor interface. Then after this particular line, there will be only vapor. Suppose if we are heating something like this, what happens is, up to this point there will be only liquid so at a fraction of second the entire liquid changes into vapor so there is no liquid vapor interface so that is something like in a pot we are having some water and at a fraction of second the entire water is changing into vapor so this is what we call as the phase change of fuel substance and here we have obtained liquid saturation line vapor saturation line and also here there is an interface of liquid and vapor here only liquid uh, only liquid existence of liquid is there here only vapor is existing and this point 1 on dash etc can be called a subcooled region and uh, this is vaporized region okay that's our goal phase change of a pure substance and we have illustrated that with an example of water thank you